Hello, grade four or fives. Um, I'm not going to look right into the camera. I'm going to look at the thing that I'm reading, so ignore my shifty eyes. Uh, this lesson is for Friday, March 27th, and Monday, March 28th. No, not 28th. Whatever Monday is. Is that the 30th? Let's guess it is. Uh, anyway, it's, it's for uh, Miss McCauley's and Miss Martin's classes. I'm away on family business and will return on Tuesday. Uh, as always, I'm reachable at my board email address, roxy.bromley at tdsb.on.ca, uh, if you've got any questions or concerns. You're going to stop working on your igloo reflections today, and you're going to spend the uh, entire period researching rubber band race cars. If you've finished your reflections and you're waiting to upload them, you're going to talk to me on Tuesday. If you're having any issues about your reflections, you need to talk to me on Tuesday. If I've already gotten your reflections, don't worry about it. I'll give you the link uh, as soon as I have one available for you. Um, so this period, you're thinking about rubber band race cars. This term, as you may remember, we're going to build little cars. We discussed this briefly before the break. Um, you can build your car by yourself or you can work in a group. So groups can be from one kid all the way up to 10,000 kids. Don't care. As long as you're happy and you're working. That's all that matters. Please remember, though, that if you work poorly with somebody, you need to make good choices about who's in your group. Um, your mission is going to be to go farther than any other group with your race car and the racetrack is going to be in one straight line. Um, your mission today, by the end of the period, so by the end of these 80 minutes, you need to send me a message on today's meet, and that message needs to say, number one, who's in your group? Are you working by yourself, or are you working with a group of people? And number two, I need to have a link to one website that you looked at today, uh, that will help you research rubber band race cars. So let me give you an example. I'm going to use my cell phone. This is going to be especially helpful to you if you're using an iOS device. If you don't know what your current network password is, don't even bother trying to use an iPad because you're not going to be able to get in. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome and it's going to crash apparently because it hates me. So here I am in Google Chrome, and I'm going to go to uh, todaysmeet.com slash racers. Todaysmeet.com slash, oh, racer with no S. You remember this website from first term, yeah? You need to input your actual name. It says nickname in the field. It's lying to you. I don't care what your nickname is. I care about giving you marks. So please give me an identifiable name. If there's more than one person in your group, I need to have both of your names in this field. I am working by myself. I'm just writing Roxy in the name field. I'm clicking join. There I go. So now I have 140 characters to explain what I'm doing. So I'm going to type... I'm in a group by myself, period. I have 115 characters left. Those of you who hate writing, this is good for you. I want you to write in shorthand. I'm going to open a new tab because now I need to search for a website that's going to help me. So I go new tab, and in the search field, I'm going to type rubber band racer you could even put rubber band race car that works I know that PBS kids has some awesome resources so I'm going there so I'm typing rubber band racer PBS and I'm gonna see what I get the first hit which you can't see oh maybe you can it's backwards it says design squad ah this, uh, this web page rocks my socks. It's so good because it's got some step-by-step -step action. It's got a diagram. So this is the resource that I'm using. If you're using an iOS device, I'm going to select 
the URL. I'm going to hold. I'm going to get this pop-up. I'm going to go select all. I get this other pop-up and I'm going to go copy. I'll go back to my initial tab where I'm typing in today's meet. I'm going to click in the field. Make sure there's some spaces there. I'll click on the field. I'll go paste. And then there goes the URL. And I'll click say. Here I have my message in today's meet. I'm in a group by myself. And then I've got my URL. And it says it's posted by Roxy. And it gives you the timestamp, which is very important. If your URL is exceptionally long, you may not have enough characters to post it. You might have to tiny the URL by going to tiny.cc or by going to bit.ly and shortening it. You can uh, ask kids in your class. I know that at least five kids from each of your classes know how to shorten URLs. Tomorrow and on Monday, I'm going to be on the train. And while I'm on the train, while I'm on the VIA train, going out of Toronto to Kingston and then coming back to Kingston, or coming back from Kingston to Toronto, I'll be on the train and I'm going to be looking to see who's been on today's meet and who hasn't. It's going to let me know who needs help and who doesn't. Now, I understand it might take you a little bit to be able to watch this lesson because you're going to need computers. You're going to have to ask your supply teacher whether or not you can go into the library to watch this uh, video lesson on a computer in there or whether or not you should stay in the lab. Either way, uh, if you're planning on starting work on your rubber band race car, your race car needs to fit inside a bin when it's finished. I'll show you my race car because I'm in this competition too. This is mine. It's not finished yet. You can see my wheels spin. I built it out of wood, got the wheels on. And you can see that my finished car, or almost finished car, fits inside this bin. You can use materials from home if you want to. You can get outside help from home if you want to. You can ask relatives from around the world if you want to, but the only rule so far is that your little car, when it's done, has to fit inside one of the plastic bins at school. And that's it. If you've got any problems, email me, roxy.bromley at tdsb.on.ca or post to the todaysmeet.com thread. And you guys know if there's any nonsense on that thread, I'm going to mark you down and we're going to have a talk about it. I don't want to see you talking to each other on that thread and causing problems and being ridiculous. You need to make sure that you are posting appropriate material on that thread only. I have nothing else to say. It's been 8 minutes and 24 seconds. Please get to work. Have a fabulous weekend or if it's Monday, I hope you had a fabulous weekend. I'll see you Tuesday.